In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best zone beating principle and concept in Madden. Now, this will be able to beat man coverage as well, but I want to show you two renditions of the same basic play and show you why it's very effective against zone coverage. Now, the play we're going to be taking a look at today is all in known in real life as the sale concept. Um, now, this is in Madden, we tend to talk about this more as a quote unquote flood concept, and I'm going to show it to you two different ways today it's the same concept it's just the routes are going to be running at different depths i'm in the colts playbook today if you want to get my entire gun bunch offensive ebook make sure to join the patreon the link is going to be down in the description below so we're going to really have two primary uh, principles here we're going to be utilizing the the bunch trail to create corner routes um, but i'm actually going to teach this from the play flood itself um, because it actually has a route that is much more uh, exemplary of what an actual sale route is in real life and what a sale route is in real life is about a 12 to 15 yard rounded out route that is not only good against man coverage but is also good against zone coverage as well and so what you're going to see on this play is this is generally speaking what a sale concept looks like you might motion this guy to the outside here but this is generally speaking what a sale concept is and then on the back side what you're going to do is you're just going to put your running back on an out route so this right here is a very simple way to run the play and the concept sale. You've got a clear out route on the outside. You've got a 12 to 15 yard rounded out route or short corner route. And then you have the flat route there to kind of make that flat defender put him in conflict a little bit. On the backside, you've got a backside dig coming over the middle of the field. And typically the running back can either be on an out route, a table route, or a wheel route. Now against man coverage, what you're going to notice about flood and what makes flood so good from bunch is is this flat route to the tight end is significantly better than any other flat route in the formation. This is by far the most effective flat route in the game. All He's, he's got this little speed burst he's going to take, and as you can see, this really can put man coverage in a difficult position. Now, it also puts any kind of man pressure in a difficult position. So let's say you're getting blitzed out of man coverage right and you're running this play you want to try to hit your tight end quick flat and try to break a tackle and make something happen okay um this tight end quick flat and this running back wheel is really effective for beating man coverage super fast and you get those nice rack animations on this play now the next read on man coverage is let's say they drop somebody over there or they adjust to try to take away your tight end. Now we want to turn our attention to our rounded out route. As you can see right here, it's going to consistently beat man coverage to the sideline. Now in traditional sale concept fashion, I'll show it to you at a bunch trail, we can now do the same basic thing. All we're going to do is flat our tight end and we're going to streak this outside receiver. And what you're going to notice is this corner route is going to also give you a really good chance to be able to beat main coverage. So these are two different variations of the same concept. They're just sale, it's just at different depths that we're going to run the play. So one route gets about 15 yards in depth, the other route gets about 30 yards in depth, okay? Uh, so that's a little minor nutshell of a difference, but something that I think you need to know. Now, if we see, now if they sh uh, shift to zone coverage, what you're going to notice with this play here is that flat defender is going to try to split the difference between the flat route and the flood route, right, or the sail route. So what you want to do as an offensive player is you want to force them to have to guard your flat routes. So what I like to do is motion out this guy, especially if my bunch is to the wide side. We'll get to the short side in just a second. Um, but if, if, if a wide side like this, I like to motion this guy out, and now it just makes that flat defender significantly more isolated. And if he doesn't jump to that flat route, we're going to throw that flat route every single time, and we're going to make them respect us. And then what's going to happen is they're going to have to start playing hard flats. When they have to start playing hard flats, now we get into this little chess match and game where he's going to now jump to the tight end route, and now we're going to be able to throw that sail route or that rounded out route in behind um, that, that hard flat type of zone. So this is also really good for situations where your opponent is going to be double mabling because if they're double flatting, chances are in this year's game, just the way the game plays, they're going to have to put their flat zones on um, at least uh, five, 
maybe even zero to stop this tight end flat. So you see here, they're also going to have to have that cloud flat significantly uh, deeper. So that cloud flat's gotta be 30 yards to stop a corner route. And what you'll notice with this right here is because that curl flat is at five, you can actually split the difference between the double Mabel coverage and be able to attack that sideline with that play as well. So to me, this is a perfect blend of a couple different um, ways to flood zone. Now, the next thing I want to show you here is um, how we run this to be able to utilize a corner route. So when they're, when they're trying to, you know, they're just consistently splitting the difference, what do I like to do? What I like to do when they're doing something like that is this is where I like to run short side bunch. Uh, so short side bunch makes it a little easier to flood zones this year. Um, it's just the way zone works uh, from compressed sets. So what you'll notice here is this is a cover three with a curl flat zone. And if I run this flood play, that curl flat is going to actually be able to guard that deep out route, as you can see there. Now, he's not able to guard the running or the tight end, but he is able to guard that deep out route. So when they start to run consistently a lot of bim but don't break zone, what I like to do is have a slot apprentice, and I can put him on this slot apprentice corner, or I can just run the play bunch trail. Um, and what you'll see is this corner route is going to get over the top of that curl flat into a space where they can't really defend it. What they have to do to stop it in that situation situation is they have to have their zone drop set to 30 and they have to have the corner on the right side he has to be backed off uh, about 30 yards so again if i wanted to do that out of bunch trail let's say i don't have slot apprentice i can still do it out of bunch trail all i gotta do is streak my outside bunch receiver put my tight end on an out route or a flat route put my running back on an out route or a wheel route and then put a backside in route it could either be a five yard in it could be a slant it could be a smart routed in anything like that will work and then you know now okay well maybe we guess wrong and they're in man coverage you know and then it becomes basically back into the man beating piece of everything so as you can see here like this just gives you a lot of different options of ways to flood the zones to the sidelines and so you'll see here sideline flood boom easy read easy money to the sideline now again they have to play hard flats even on the short side so like if i'm on the short side and I'm trying to stop this play. This play is so good to the short side because in the short side, they have to commit to that tight end quick. So right there, you see it's an easy commitment and I'm already throwing my out route. As soon as I see that cornerback jump to the flat, then I'm looking to throw that deep out route. So in turn, what this means for the, uh, the defense is what they really ought to do is go into some match stuff. Uh, if they run match, it's gonna play pretty decent, especially against this right here, you'll see that this flood concept is going to actually get matched pretty well. Now, how do we beat match? This is where this really, um, this is where this play, I think this play flood specifically is so valuable. If you're getting matched consistently, all you have to do to beat it is just motion this guy out and restreak him just like this. And what you'll notice here is match will really struggle to defend this out route to the sideline. Hopefully your receiver will actually be able to catch the ball when he's wide open, but they're going to really struggle to defend this. And again, you don't even have to re-streak CeeDee Lamb. All you got to do is just motion this guy out, and now we're back into that same little game of high-lowing that defender and out-leveraging the safety uh, to the sideline. So flood is a very critical play. Sail in general is a very critical play. Now you can actually invert it a little bit if you want to, especially short side. So let's say we wanted to create a different type of sail concept. What we could do is we could streak the middle guy, we could out route CD Lamb, and we can corner the tight end. Now it's the same basic thing, it's just different receivers are going on the routes. This makes it hard for your opponent to key in on who's actually going to be running the sale technique or the sale concept. Now most of the time we want it to be brown, but there is some value in either one of these guys. So another example would be from Flood. And this time we're going to take Brown and put him on a fade. Now where I like to do this specific route combo is if I know it's cover three. And what you're going to notice here is the same basic thing. They're going to suck to that streak and you're going to be able to throw that corner route. Now, last little bit of advice for the sale play is in what's going to happen typically is they are going to basically say, okay, I've got to go stop that concept. I've got to go stop the concept over, over on the right side. So then if the user comes out of the middle of the field, then now what you're able to do is check down to your dig over here on the left side, as you can see right there. 
So super effective concept. That's the sale concept out of bunch and how to utilize it in a couple of different ways. If you understand this one concept, it will make your offense significantly better. You can cross apply this concept to multiple different formations, but this is how I like to run it out of bunch. If you want to get my entire gun bunch offensive ebook, make sure to join the Patreon. The link is down in the description below.